Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me a photograph of something they're trying to do. Uh, this is going to be milled out of aluminum, and they want random polygons or hexagons or anything, but they're, they started out without them, so I'm going to start out without random. And he kind of drew this in CAD by hand, and, and you could alter some of them after you do this. But here's the shape they want to fill in. So we're going to take the Smart Fill tool and fill in that shape, and we're going to nudge it up. Now, one thing he did do that was, you know, he told me all their parameters. It's one inch on the inside and a tenth of an inch thick. So we could go with that model and change our nudge factor to 1.1. That is our total. Control D and make a duplicate. Control D, and so you can go on to the cows come home. But when you try to weld something like this, it doesn't weld. You, you'd have to figure some things out. And if you, the best way I know how to do this would be to control G and group this together. And later on, we're going to use a smart fill tool. And I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard. Now, some of these, like this doesn't have an interior, you know, thing to, to uh, snap to. So you've really got to snap to that interior line and then control D. And you don't even have to do that. I wanted to delete. So now you could control D the whole thing and double it, control D. And if you could move it right the first time, uh, Krell would make your next one like that. So if you got on the money. So we just need to make the size of this window that we have. We've already done it. Now, what's different about this is that you can't, there's no weld yet. There's no, you know, ungroup it all, no weld, group it, weld. So what I would suggest to do, I'm going to take the color out of our what we need, and I'm going to see how big this thing is. And it's, So I'm going to set my nudge factor now on 10. And I am going to smart fill this line down and move them over. So I'm going to go there, 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 there. I'm just alternating the pattern. And what this is doing is creating my outline. Whoop. I didn't move that one. And then one more. So we got the same repetitive pattern. Now, if we, if you ever hit the board with that, uh, just start over. So now what we can do is move these out of the way and we can actually delete these. I would never delete anything in case it's something that work, put it off the page. Now, if you remember the 1.1, control D and make a duplicate and we've spaced them out 1.1 inches apart. Now what's so good about this, and I'm not going to move this, we've got 14 inches wide by 13 and this is only 14 inches wide by, so we're really close. And I think it's good enough. You could have made one more row, but I need to go to object group and group this together and then put this on top of your, and see, I, I should have made one more group, but this might work. And in this particular case, since you're just doing it for the door, we could actually, I don't know where his page is. I guess his page is here. We could, since this is, since this is grouped together, we could hit P and we could hit P and then everything would be the same and then select it all and just go to intersect. And then what it did, it gave you a pattern that is even and it would be a grill. Now we need to put a box around there, but their box was in the original drawing. If you don't have a box, we could have, it's actually got an outline around it. A, a, you know, you could make an outline around it or you could have, I could have nudged it right back into place. But I'm pretty sure that was what he's looking for with the exception they're not random. And, you know, they're perfect and but we could, you know, I might look at that later this evening, uh, how you could actually make them random. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.